all eat at places like this. We shop in grocery stores just like this one. And some of us get our nails done and our beauty needs tended to at salons just like this. But have you ever stopped to think why it's so cheap? And who's losing out? Welcome to Story Hunters. I'm Ash McGee and this is my producer Loretta. Hi. In this three-part series we're looking at a problem that's glaringly obvious but that no one's talking about. How we, you and I, are benefiting off the cheap labour of international students. I think most Australians would be shocked at how little international students earn. Uh, yeah. For honestly, yeah. Maybe just half. Maybe just one third. I met Kenny by chance a couple of weeks ago when he picked me up in his Uber and we just got chatting about what it's like to be an international student. Because when I was working there, like, $8 an hour? Yeah, but... $8 an hour? Yeah, uh, I'm doing the waiter. We'll go over the basics soon, but just know that Kenny's pay, it was about a third of what he should have been receiving. We decided to take his story to a Facebook group for international students. So, we're wanting to do a story on it, um, which is where you come in. We never anticipated this response. Within a few days, we'd heard from 64 students, all with similar stories. They pay me $8 per hour. $9 per hour. $9 an hour. Yeah. $8 to $12. They pay only $9 to 10 bucks per hour. Before I came here, I thought that uh, Australia is a country for equality. What made you decide to talk to us about it? Um, well, because, because I want to change it. Actually, I want to change it. I think that every change in the world starts with what we speak out. If you're 21 years or older, then the minimum casual wage is $22 an hour. There are about half a million international students studying in Australia right now. And each year, they contribute nearly $20 billion to our economy. Back on Facebook, we polled the students about how much they earn. 500 of them responded, and two-thirds said they were being underpaid. It's not a scientific study, but still, two-thirds. This isn't a few dodgy bosses or a couple of disgruntled students. Everyone we've spoken to says it's the norm. I'm afraid that behind that bowl of food, there's a scene of the employer are exploiting another student. Were you thinking that we come in with you with a camera? Like, or are we just going in? I think we should just 